Hello, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. I bid you welcome. Um, Mid-February, getting bombed by snow, but nonplussed, we move forward because spring is coming and outdoor kitchens, outdoor living projects are going full tilt um, and really never stopped from, uh, from last year. Um, this is one of my outdoor kitchen analysis videos, but we're going to make the focus of this not so much on the project that we're going to discuss. We're going to use this as a frame for uh, a jumping off point to talk about one of my favorite products, which is Danver Outdoor Kitchens, Danver Cabinetry or Brown Jordan, um, which we've been, uh, that's, it is my preferred choice for outdoor cabinetry. And um, it's a great solution for folks who just don't want to do stone. And, you know, more and more uh, I'm hearing from people that come in and they're just like, you know, the stone look is just not where we want to go with this. We want something with a more contemporary vibe. Um, we just want to do something different. And that's what this uh, Danver product does provide. It's best in class. Uh, our customers have all raved about it, and uh, we've used them, you know, in every setting you can think of, from a rooftop in New York City to, you know, beachfronts out in the, the Hamptons um, to just a normal backyard in Westchester. They look great in any type of uh, setting. So let's dig in. Um, this particular project was a great one. This is uh, uh, in Powell Manor. Uh, we did this last summer. And it's also a nice um, uh, investigation or look at the Alfresco 56-inch grill, the BFG, which is my favorite grill. And something that I think that some folks, at the thought of a 56-inch grill, it's intimidating. But I'm going to show you how in this video, I mean, it's really... Um, uh, it's something that I highly recommend, and I, I, I'm trying to bump some 42-inch customers to the 56. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's an incredible, incredibly versatile grill, and you're never going to run out of real estate. But this kitchen, which is basically all alfresco with a couple of Marvel refrigeration units, and then it uses Danver, and then it uses Decton countertops. If we watch the video and we watch him spin from the left side, You'll see, first of all, countertop, that's the alfresco pizza oven, the gas, uh, uh, actually, you know, it, it's a pizza oven, but it's really an outdoor oven. Um, next to it, you're going to see a sink, the 30-inch AGBC sink. You put a commercial faucet um, uh, on that, and then underneath it, you'll see the, uh, the Marvel ice maker, outdoor, clear ice, and then we keep on rolling we have the um uh the power burner which is the way that i always recommend doing a drop it down 68 inches uh then we hit the 56 that beautiful bfg grill uh with the sear zone embedded in it and then pivoting on to the other side you're going to start to see the refrigeration drawers he did another sink another agbc 30 which is not going to be used as a sink it's going to kind of be like a cocktail station and um, if I am, I'm not looking at the video right now, so I'm doing this kind of off the top of my head, but I believe he has three sets of uh, outdoor refrigerator drawers in there. Um, on the other side, he has a seating area, um, bar area for, uh, with raised bar with a few seats. And you'll also notice the countertop, what they did with the deck then is they waterfalled it. Okay, so it goes off the edges and it creates a seamless, beautiful look. So... Um, what they did with the cabinetry is they used the Brown Jordan um, version of, uh, of uh, Danver. So it's the Danver cabinet. It comes in different uh, uh, paint colors. And you'll see a whole combination of different cabinets. He has a trash recycle bin built in. He has various drawers, various doors. And what happens is, is when you move to the Danver system, okay, you then you don't need to start buying all of the stainless steel under counter units for the grill. So there's no need to buy dual trash. There's no need to buy drawers. There's no need to buy access doors. I mean, the Danver provides that all with a wrapping that makes it look seamless like a kitchen cabinet. So it's very clean. And um, in this case, because it's powder coated, it really holds up to the elements beautifully. And this isn't really a great example of that because he's undercover. 
um, and he's not on the water. But I mean, these things are used in the very highly, highly, um, uh, the very high degree of salinity on the Jersey Shore, um, probably more so than anywhere on the East Coast of the United States. They hold up well out there. We use these out in the Hamptons. So when you do the powder coat, okay, it's going to hold up rather well. You are going to have to spray down the, um, uh, the hinges. But um, if you don't powder coat it and you're going to do the straight Danver solution, then what I recommend is doing marine grade 316 stainless steel, 316. Uh, that's the marine grade, and that's certainly going to, going to hold up um, much better than 304 will. But anyway, his, uh, this customer's plan here was he wanted something contemporary. I mean, there was an initial thought that he wanted to work off the, um, the materials that the house is built out of. And that's how we did his old outdoor kitchen, which we, we did about, I don't know, eight years ago. That was a DCS. It was a small job. But he just wanted to go whole hog now. Um, got the pool going. And then this area here is where everybody's going to come. They're going to watch him cook because they're like maniacal cooks. They're going to be using this thing year round. He has heating elements in there as well. And, um, you know, and he's got like the social vibe going on because of the seating. So, um, again, the Danver is going to preclude any need to have um, uh, any of these, as I'm standing down here, I'm seeing dry storage, pantries, ice draws, trash, recycling, um, uh, anything else. And, you know, it's just not needed. You, everything comes with the Danver depending upon what type of cabinets you get with it. And typically what I see is people are going to get a grill base uh, and their grill brace, their grill bases are made specifically for that grill, okay, that you buy, which is nice. They have door and drawer combos, they have access doors, again, the trash recycling. I mean, any type of cabinet you could think of, plus they can custom build Build them. The other thing I love about Danver, okay, is because of the fact that they're based in Connecticut, it is very, very easy, very quick to get um, solutions, to get things taken care of if there are problems. And every so often I've received on a job, um, uh, we've received, you know, there's been damage, uh, not because of the company, but, you know, whether it was something that uh, in transit, whatever the case was, a damage draw here or there. And, or maybe there's a, um, there's an issue with, uh, what was another problem? Something with the bolt, with the, with the sliding mechanism on one of the drawers. And we have like replacement pieces within like a couple of days, right? I've also got the reps, the guys who are just like neck deep in this product, who are all local. They've come out to several job sites with us. I've had them install several job sites. So the fact that the company's local when we're doing our tri-state area builds is huge because I can tell you this much, the direct competition who I have had numerous conversations with over the past couple of years, they're in different states, they're in different parts of the country. So if there's a problem, you need to wait to have certain, whatever the damage pieces sent out to you, you have to return the other one. I mean, there's like a RMA process to go through and that's not fun. So the, the locality of the business is something that it's worth its weight in gold. Now. The Danver is not for the budget, value-minded consumer. I could tell you that right now. Danver Brown Jordan, it's going to be up there in price. But again, you are paying for quality. You are paying for a premium product. And I can tell you, we have it on display in the showroom. I've been to job sites. I've seen these things you know, completed. Not only do they look completely next level, but just the way that the doors open and close the, the design integrity that goes into this product, and by the way, I have made, I've had a tour of the factory, the craftsmanship that, the craftsmanship that goes into these products is, 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 again, completely on the next level. Back to the project here, though. Um, I don't recall what color he used, what RAL color. Um, I want to say it's hammer tone which is what we have on display in the showroom. I found that that is one of the more popular uh, finishes on their Brown Jordan uh, style of cabinetry. Um, and they definitely, as you can see, they, we do a lot of jobs where the customer uses the decked and countertops with this. They just, 
they just go well together. And again, it's going to give you a very modern, contemporary vibe. I mean, I've seen these used in jobs out in the Hamptons. I've seen them used on rooftops in the city where it's just, you're getting that modern, contemporary look and it's just like pff, aces. Um, so that's basically it in regards to the cabinets, the grill. Again, we use Marvell refrigeration drawers. He actually did a hood as well. He has a hood over the power burner and um, the hood, which we were going to use a Venta hood, if I'm not mistaken. He actually ended up doing a, um, he went in because he owns a, uh, he's in the food industry. So he ended up getting a commercial hood um, for this application. And um, I mean, listen, he can probably use this kitchen 10, 11 months out of the year with the heating. I mean, why bother using your kitchen? Just go outside, cook, have a bourbon, have a cigar. Life is good. Get some fresh air, right? I mean, and I know because I know the guy. I'm friendly with them. They're using this thing. Based, they use it all winter. Okay, it's been a beautiful thing. Process. The whole Danver process is very, very straightforward. You can come in, look at the product here on the sales floor, um, the display. You're going to probably add another one soon, and um, we can walk you through it. And then we'll get an idea of what your needs are. We'll listen to you. Uh, find the proper solution for you. Then we'll get down to the design aspect. We'll get a beautiful rendering done for you. And then at that point, um, you know, we have the color swatches, the, um, the chips. You can just, because there's a very large gamut of colors, uh, finishes, uh, door types uh, to use as well. And, um, uh, you know, you just basically make your mind up and then we roll. So right now we're at four weeks. It's going to probably grow to five weeks because the demand is starting to surge. So... Um, I will do more in-depth Danver videos where we'll actually start showing you the different cabinet types. I wanted this to kind of be like a 30,000 feet in the air kind of overhead view using it in this particular outdoor kitchen, which came out amazing. If you go to the gallery section at rofgirls.com, you'll see several Danver build-outs on there. And uh, again, I love it. So hit me up, questions at rofgirls.com. It'll go directly to me. And I would definitely recommend coming in, paying us a visit, and um, we can uh, talk extensively about this wonderful product. Folks, thank you for your time. Questions at rofgrills.com. Thank you.